Hello friends, welcome back to Yoga with Paige. Can you believe it is already day seven of our chakra week? <laughs> Where did the days go? So today, obviously, we are focusing on the crown chakra floating up here at the tippy top of the head. It is the center of our higher consciousness, our divine connection. So we lose closed-mindedness to reconnect. We flow through a sequence designed to open up this crown chakra. But as it is more of an inner feeling that you cultivate, I don't really have a ton of wisdom to share with you today. I just want to help us visualize this aura, this orb of energy that we've been working through all week. So basically putting together all of the chakras, just feeling our inner alignment, feeling everything balanced, connected together, flowing as it should, knowing that we are in the right space. We're connected with everything and everyone and that it's all bigger than us. So whenever you're ready, we shouldn't need any props for this class. It is a shorter class, just a nice little way to end off our week. So we start on our knees, finding a gentle seat here, lifting up through the crown of the head, taking a moment to visualize this energy flowing up and down all throughout our body. Maybe you can feel it right now. And just knowing that we're all connected here, that there's more. Starting to pay attention to the breath as it expands and contracts the belly. Lifting up a little bit higher on the inhale, finding beautiful long line. And then we're going to take the hands behind the back, interlace the fingers, pull the hands energetically down through the mat as if we're reaching towards the center of the earth, lifting the head, the heart up. Holding here for a breath or two, feeling beautifully open and aligned and connected. And exhale, dropping the head forward, trying to reach the mat, taking the hands overhead. Finding a gentle little rock here, back and forth. Breathing nice and deep. Then using the hands to help guide you back up, lifting the chest. We're going to drop the right fingertips to the mat and reach the left hand overhead. Just a gentle side body stretch. And exhale to switch. Release. Crossing at the ankles, coming into easy seat for a little seated cat cow. So on the inhale, thinking of reaching the head up. And exhale, rounding through the back, tucking the chin. Inhale, lift. And exhale, round. Moving with the breath. One more round like this. Then releasing the hands, taking them behind, coming into easy boat. So shins are parallel to the mat, connecting to your core. Holding here for a moment, maybe taking the hands to heart center. Bringing the chest as close to the thighs as we can. Nice, beautiful lines. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, slowly open and revolve to the right side. 
Inhale, reach. And exhale, revolve to the left. One more time. You got this. Inhale. Exhale. Releasing. Coming onto all fours. Extending the legs, coming into plank pose. Nice and strong here. Slowly lowering down, chaturanga, elbows tucked in by the ribs. Inhale, upward facing dog. Feeling the beautiful stretch in the throat. Exhale, send the hips up, downward facing dog. Walking the hands out in front. Pedaling out the feet. Gazing at the hands, gently walking up to the mat and forward fold. Inhale to lift, hands come up above the head and exhale, heart center. Inhale, reach, building up a little heat with sun salutations. Exhale to dive. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back into plank and take a vinyasa. Meeting a downward facing dog. Grounding through the left foot, raising the right, bringing it all the way in through the chest, coming into low lunge. Releasing the arms up. Maybe taking them behind, reverse prayer hands. Sinking into the hip, holding here for a breath. We can keep the toes tucked or we can release them. And exhale, we're going to send the hips back. Half splits. We can use the hands if we need stability. Or we can challenge ourselves. Inhale, back to low lunge. And exhale, half split. Coming back to our low lunge to lift that back leg, coming back into plank and taking a vinyasa. And over the toes, raising the left leg, bending the knee, bringing it in through the chest and lowering down low lunge, reach up taking whatever variation we did on the other side, maybe our prayer hands opening through the shoulders, reaching the crown up, feeling everything aligned, sinking on the exhale, sending the pelvis down. Inhale, release the arms. Exhale, send the hips back, half split. Inhale, low lunge, and exhale, reach back. Coming into our low lunge to find our plank pose, our last little vinyasa, and downward facing dog. Gazing at the hands and walking or jumping to the front of the mat, but stepping as wide as the mat. Bending the knees, reaching the arms in front, bear pose. Gazing down in between the feet, squatting in the hips nice and strong, using your strength. Holding here. And we can release if we want to come into any arm balance of your choice. Going to take crow pose or crane pose, planting the hands, lifting up onto the balls of the feet, tucking the knees as far into the armpits as I can, and slowly beginning to shift my weight while picking up the feet and tucking them into the chest. Nice steady breath. And gently release 
We're going to take the hands behind us and counter that little pose by taking either reverse tabletop or upward plank, sending the hips up, stretching through the triceps, letting the head fall back. Deep breaths. Exhale to release. We're going to kind of keep going back and forth, rocking back and forth here, coming into rabbit pose. So putting the crown of the head on the mat. Reaching back for the, the heels or the ankles, trying to get as close as we can. Every body is going to look different. This is my rabbit pose. Yours might look completely different. And that is A-OK. -okay. Just feeling a beautiful stretch in the upper back. One more breath. Gently release the hips. Coming on to the belly. Making a little pillow with your forearms here. Finding a little rest for the forehead, crocodile pose. Lying here for a moment, tapping into your connection. Your sense of unity. Union of all. Gently lifting the head and the chest, coming into a half bow or half frog, reaching for the right ankle, pulling it into the hips, getting a little quadricep stretch. Exhale to release and switch sides. Releasing the left leg. We're going to come back up onto the knees, crossing at the ankles. Coming into easy seat, once again, finding length, drawing energy, drawing strength from all of our balanced chakras. Inhale, reach up through the crown, and exhale, slowly walk the hands out and fold forward. Just sitting with your breath, sitting with yourself, you can gently raise back up, and we can come to lie on the back, finding any variation of Shavasana that feels good to you. Just finding a few moments of stillness, gratitude, for this breath, this body, these subtle shifts that we can create in our energetic fields by just paying more attention, being more aware. You have all of the power to create your destiny.
And we can gently find our way to one side and make our way to a sitting position. Inhale the arms above the head. Exhale, maybe rest them on top for a moment here. Just thinking of our connection with everything around us. I am so glad to be connected here with you. And I thank you for joining me today. Joining me in Chakra Week. And exhale, bring hands to heart center. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste. I hope you had fun. If you did our seven day chakra week, maybe if you just joined in for one, I hope you enjoyed it. I really enjoyed making and creating and doing these classes. Let me know what you thought down below. Give these videos a thumbs up if you liked them and remember to hit that subscribe button if you're not already. I look forward to practicing with you again very soon.